One of my favourite Wainwright memories is making it to the top of the tallest mountain in England, the imposing Scorfell Pike. We arrived at the summit at dusk, which is not the time that you actually want to arrive at a giant summit. But the beautiful sunset and the incredible views more than made up for the terrifying hike down the mountain in the dark. We were all very grateful for a pint that night. You might have even had more than one. Alfred Wainwright's work, uh, without him, um, I don't think the hills would be anywhere near as accessible to, well, everyone. Um, it, it allows people to think, I can, I can do that. And whether that's a, a little hill like Latrig or one of the big boys. To me, he's a pathfinder in a true sense because he created the coast to coast walk from St. Bees right across to Robin Hood's Bay. And look how many people see that as a wonderful challenge. He has written a lot of guides, and I think for me, looking at his work, what shines out to me is his. Um, detailed artwork. I think it's just absolutely incredible. He must have contributed to this uh, local economy, goodness knows how much. Uh, he, he's put the late district on a map, literally. <laughs> An amazing man who, you know, must have inspired millions of people. And when I was 30, I wanted to do a challenge and I decided to do the Northwestern Wainwrights, which was 29. I added one more in to make 30, and um, uh, it was great. Well, Megan is 14 months now, and we've started taking up the Wainwrights, and now she is actually walking. She does walk some other way. She's been up a few, she's been up Walla Crag, she's been up Bleebury. Yeah, she's, she's ticking them off. After I've been in the office all day and I'll go and run up Latrig or, you know, up another fell or whatever and just to see the views of the Lake District and the lakes and things and it just makes you think, oh, you know, I might be tired but <laughs> it was worth it to get up that hill and see that view. Latrig's one of those hills, you can, you can do it time and time and time again and choose a different path, a different route and then you don't worry about getting lost because you can still see Keswick, so you kind of go, well, I know where I'm heading, it's fine, I'll just head that direction. So Latrig's a really good one that people shouldn't be afraid of trying. I've seen Julia Bradbury's programmes on television and it makes you feel like anyone could get out there and do what she's doing and do those walks. I think very similar to Wainwright is she's made them very accessible. Um, first hill I did on my own without Ben was Castle Crag and that was after watching one of Julia's programmes. Do you know every time I see those fells, they look even more beautiful than the last time I saw them. The different light, different season, absolutely gorgeous. Aren't we lucky? Aren't we lucky?